Hi, this is Brian with the Skit Guys, and I'm going to be showing you um, a few tips on how to customize the end of your Fall Festival Promo 3. Um, also, uh, I'll be walking through the Adobe After Effects project file um, to show you how to make a seamless, customized ending for your Fall Festival Promo. Now, if you have a Fall Festival promo from the past years or you've decided to purchase Fall Festival promo 1 or 2, these tips uh, will also work um, with those videos. You basically just apply the same basic principles and you should be fine. Now, I realize that um, a lot of you out there aren't video editors. Um, and, and even if you really do have a little bit of computer savviness to begin with, you can probably figure this out as long as you have your hands on some sort of um, editing software. So I use uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, you don't have to use that. You can use Sony Vegas. You can use Windows Movie Maker, whatever. As long as your editing software has some sort of text generator in it. And what I mean by text generator is this right here. I've basically laid text on over the end of the video. Now we've created two different customizable endings to this video. Um, an ending with a blank card that you can put text on or an ending without a blank card and you can do whatever you want to at the end. Um, here I have pulled up the ending without the uh, the title plate just uh, and, I, and I've basically just created some text on top of it um, that comes in uh, after the door slams. So one thing you may notice is that I have three pieces of text right here. And hopefully your editing program doesn't have the same limitations that Final Cut Pro has. That being that when I click on one of these texts and go to the controls tab, um, I am unable to make different lines of text, different font sizes. See right here, I want um, invite your friends to, to be a little bit smaller than the name of the event, Trunk or Treat. Now I can put Trunk or Treat, I can, uh, paragraph down and put type trunk or, trunk or treat in there, but it has to be the uh, same size as invite your friends. Also, it doesn't have um, very good uh, paragraph spacing for the lines in between the text. So that's why I had to make three separate titles for this video. Um, an October 30th, a trunk or treat title, and invite your friends to title. Um, Again, hopefully your software doesn't work like that, but for Final Cut, this is what we have to do. So um, here's what it looks like with what I've done. And all I've really done is made three title cards here and dissolved it in and out. Should probably turn off the uh, volume there. That might help a little bit. So, um, that that's really one of the easiest ways to do it i mean um I, I don't know what it looks like on your editing software how to add that stuff in final cut pro you you go to effects and then you uh find uh, uh video generators and then expand that text is down here expand that and then you drag and drop your title card here and then you double click on it go over to controls and then you can edit edit everything you want to do there. So basically what I've done is I've uh, tried to match, let me uh, hone in on this area here. I've basically uh, found the point in the video right here where it starts to dissolve out and I've created a dissolve pattern on these um, three title cards um, to match the dissolve pattern that the video ends on. So you can see it kind of dissolves out uniformly and nice and neat. Now that is the uh, that is the version with no titles. The version with the blank title card, um, this is, I've, I've kind of created something a little more advanced that makes it a little more like the seamless ending that we have in the original version with the generic title card at the end. Um, I'll play it for you here real quick. And you can see how the text flies in um, and the text actually moves around a little bit with the blank title card. 
it's kind of just a little nice effect here that um, that kind of emphasizes the slamming of the door. And I was able to do that all in Final Cut. Um, I don't know what kind of effects your editing software has. Um, again, I just made three title cards um, and then um, uh, I moved them in. You can double click here, go to motion and make keyframes for the motion, added a little motion blur. So when you advance, it has that appearance of that cinematic appearance of movement. It doesn't look so fake. And then I went in here and added an earthquake filter. And I basically found um, the point where this title plate starts moving around in reaction to the door slam. And I just created a little uh, uh, simulated uh, earthquake movement here. So um, it kind of matches the title plate. And, you know, you can go in here and uh, change your text. Maybe your event is called uh, Pumpkin Bash. And if you have a little bit of savviness and a little bit of time on your hands, you can make it look pretty much like um, the original video that we made. So those are the quick tips for how to customize the end of this video. Now this next session is for a little more advanced users. This next session is for people who use After Effects or at least have access to After Effects. Um, you don't really need to know how to use it because I'm gonna show you how to adjust and customize the project file that we've included in this download. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna open up After Effects. We'll be using CS 5.5. Um, you don't need 5.5, you can use whatever version you want to and it should open up just fine. Um, we're not using any uh, third party plugins that don't already come with um, After Effects, so you should be fine. So um, I have that open. I'm going to open up um, this folder that should look familiar. This came with your download and I'm going to open up the project file called custom title card that should open up nicely there you will see two sequences um, there is one sequence called edit text here and then one sequence called export this text um, you can open them up right here just by double clicking on them they may already be open when you open the project file um, so basically all you need to do is click on the edit text here sequence you can select the text tool up here um, and then change the text to whatever you want. Maybe, maybe this video is perfect for you guys and you just want to change it to match your event title. So maybe your event is called trunk or treat. Title is a little bit too big. So we will just select it, go down here to our text size and take that down just a little bit. So maybe you want to um, add a date and time to your event. Just change this. Sunday, October 30th. Couple of spaces, 7 p.m. Add another space in there, a couple of spaces just for kicks. And there, your uh, video is customized. When we go back over to export this sequence, you'll be able to see that as you move the playhead through, your text is now moving in the frame. It's moving along with the title card. It's moving in perspective with the door closing. Um, it just looks a lot better than the um, version we were working with in Final Cut. Um, we do have these motion blur effects toggled so when you export your sequence it'll look nice and realistic all you need to do is go up to composition add to render queue um, we're going to change the output to um, you can go we'll just change put it on the desktop here um, export the sequence that's fine and then under the output module settings um, you can use whatever format you like here. I mean, I prefer ProRes 422LT, 
Um, you can use whichever one you want. Hit OK, OK, and then the render button. And now it renders out nice and quick. You may, uh, you may have a little faster render time if you press the caps lock button so you don't have the preview on while it's rendering. But if you undo the caps lock button, you can see it render out just fine like that. So uh, renders out pretty quick. Now I'll show you how to connect it to the sequence that you downloaded. So I'll go back over here to Final Cut. I've created a um, timeline sequence called AE Compile. And basically what you want to do is just drag and drop your uh, your sequence on here. I've selected Fall Festival promo no titles. So this one ends without titles. And basically what you want to do is you want to find the splice point where it goes from our cute little actress Ainsley, who's actually one of Eddie's daughters. Both of these girls are Eddie's daughters, Ainsley and JC. And you want to find the splice point where it cuts back to Eddie and Carrie. And then I'm going to press B for the blade tool, or you can select it right over here in your toolbar. I'm going to make a splice right here. I'm going to leave the audio just take off the video now I'm going to go to file import files now where did I save that I saved it on my desktop the AE project export I'm gonna import that and I'm just gonna drop it right here and this should work out just fine oh the beautiful beautiful and then all you need to do on the end of this is add a dissolve. You can go down here to and toggle your keyframes and then um, add the, uh, what is this called, the pen tool? Yeah, pen tool, or you can hit P on your keyboard and add a couple of keyframes here and make a nice dissolve out. Play that through, dissolves out really nice. And um, that's how you make a custom After Effects sequence to um, throw into your Fall Festival Promo 3. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have any more questions about any of this, you can email me at brian at skitguys.com. That's Brian with an I. Um, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out in uh, figuring out ways to end these videos with your church's event date and time on it. So thanks again for supporting our ministry, and um, happy Halloween. Mm -hmm.